Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another special edition of Hopped Up Beer Review. We are making our way through the 2023 Brewer's Advent Calendar, and today we are drinking Tradition by Ernbräu out of Ingolstadt, Germany. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back to run through another beer out of our 2023 Brewers Advent Calendar. Before we get there though, as you can see, we make Andy say all the German stuff. If you've got any event coming up, or maybe it's a YouTube video as well, where you need somebody to pronunciate German properly, it's probably not Andy. But... We do rent him out, so uh, he can I've do got it. a cameo page, you know, account. Exactly. So. exactly. So go. check that out. That link will be down below. Uh, but if you need him, he is there. Uh, and also, Attic Tours right now, it's the tis the season. You can get one with the special decorations. What are we drinking out of our 2023 Brewers Advent calendar today, gentlemen? Or Andy, so, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tradition. It is a fest beer from the Ehrenbräu out of Ingolstadt, Deutschland. And oh, so festive. Yeah. So, again, if you were watching this video, we did the 2022 Brewers Advent calendar. Oh, sweet. And that was the general... Well, Everyone. Uh, Andy's got some spewage there, but uh, we did the 2022 Brewers Advent Calendar, and we have gotten uh, several of the same beers. So instead of going day by day, because we have a lot of beers that are the same and out of various orders, we are going to release them all at once. So if you're watching this and you have your calendar, then uh, we can you can check out all our other videos of once we've done. How are you doing over there, Andy? Technical difficulties. Cue the music. He's messy. All right, we are back. Clean up on aisle. Andy is complete. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what a of last year's score. <laughs> yeah. Likewise. I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ruin it for us. So Tradition's a fest beer. It's um brewed and served at the uh Oktoberfest in Bavaria. It's a seasonal. And it um it marks the anniversary of the Bavarian purity law that was proclaimed in this town of Ingolstadt in 1516. So the town in which this beer has been brewed, um, Ingolstadt, I think at the time was like the second largest um, city in Bavaria, Bayern. And it was in this town in 1516 that the the royalty of the time uh did the bavarian purity law uh proclamation for beer another interesting thing about ingolstadt which you know my research kind of leads me to funny things um the uh this is where the the city was where the illuminati was founded uh, mm -hmm. When you think of Illuminati, do you think Germany, Bavaria? No, oh, yeah. I think Vatican. Yeah. When you think of Illuminati, how old do you think of Illuminati? You know, how far back? What year? I don't know much about the Illuminati, so I don't know. <clears throat> 
what thinking somewhere between 1200 and 1400 so i was thinking like renaissance times you know yeah um nope 1776 so about the time of the u.s revolution you know declaration wow. of that's when the illuminati was founded uh in bavaria uh by a guy who found <laughs> freemasonry because freemasonry was is much older <laughs> and i think that's why I was thinking, okay, Illuminati, you know, right. another secret society. A lot of the time you think of them connected. Yeah, this age of enlightenment. Um, but the guy who founded the Illuminati found the Freemasonry to be too expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons, but you know, so. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I was just like, whoa, cool. You know, the, this this town's got a couple of cool claims to fame. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's some other cool stuff about Illuminati. Maybe I'll discuss that on my other channel about uh, what they did with the wars and stuff like that. So, Ernbroy, the brewery in Ingolstadt, was founded in 1527. About 200 and what, so years almost before uh, the Illuminati. So they couldn't, you know, they had nothing to do with the, the foundation of the brewery, so we can't blame them for that. Uh, it was interesting there, the mineral water that they get um, is drawn up from a spring that's over 250 meters below or deep. And so um, this brewery also does non-alcoholic um, beverages, mineral water, sodas, things like that. Microbrewery. Oh, Little guys. That's pretty yeah. cool. All right. Is that our information on this one? It is. I don't remember much of that information from last year. So I didn't have it. I just seems like you, you found some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did, All right. What do I do for the show? There you go. go. For me, I, mostly I'm curious. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll jump in there and go first. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I definitely remember the can art from this one last year. I mean, when I, you know, I've been through the whole box at this point. And when we pull them out, I, you know, I definitely know which ones we we did, you know, just a year ago. Um, so definitely remember that. I don't remember this one so much, though, on the flavor side. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised when I when I had the first sip of this one. I just don't, don't I guess, remember whether I like this one or not. Um, last year or how I might have rated it. But for this year's version, I think it's... Um, it's uh not going to be my favorite out of the box. You know, I think it's okay. Um it's uh you know, I mean I know there's only so many so many flavors in this beer, or so many ingredients I should say. Yeah. Um but uh I don't know, it's it's not the flavor profile to me is it's a little bit lighter. There's a malt in there that just I, I think it's not my favorite, I guess. Let me put it that way. I, I don't know any other way to explain it. Um, it. It comes off to me as being a fairly cheaper beer uh, in the flavor, almost like a like a macro with a little bit of flavor in it, if you will, or like one malt. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit lower for me, at least this year. Um, and uh, Jay obviously knows what I, I guess gave it last year, but I, I'm going to give this one a six and a half. I think this one is just okay for me. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, to me, Ben, it's <clears throat> it's um, it has a a good flavor to it. I do associate, so I can see where you're saying associating it with a macro. Um, but to me, when I take a sip of it, hey, Andy's. It's funny that he brought up the purity law because I was like, well, this is kind of pure. It's light. It's crisp. It's clean. It, to me, it's really almost too sweet in a lot of ways, if you ask. Mm. It's got a lot of sweetness on it. Um, I, I'm just going to have to go with the standard seven on it. It's good. But I, unlike you, I I pulled this out of the box and I didn't recognize the can. It was a forgettable one to me. So um, it's a good beer. I, I enjoy it. I'm not not quite like you Ben saying it's one of the bad well, not one of the the best in the box it's still up there for me um it's a good beer 
Andy. Yeah. Uh, I remember the can. Couldn't remember the flavor. Um, and Jay, you had mentioned exactly what I was thinking. Sweet. And it's almost got a an orange flavory sweet to it. Play, um, perhaps. It's not a sound that I'm describing. It's a twang. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, it's just a. Uh, it, it's almost like an imitation orange flavoring, because it doesn't taste citrusy. Um, it's but. And it's not bitter. It's some at type all. of sweet. Mm -mm. Some some sweet to it. So, and of the ones we've had so far, yeah, it's definitely going to rate lower to me I'm having a hard time figuring this one out yeah I mean I think that what you mentioned the sweetness both of you guys mentioned is probably why I equate it more so with a macro right yeah, that, yeah you think of a lot of the the you know the corn syrup or the you yeah. know yeah. That, that we deal with or a lot of the sweetness that you get out of a macro so. I'm going to give this one. I, I, I'm pretty much. I'm sure. I know. I have to have rated it higher last year, but I think I'll give it a six this year. All right. And that's also because it's spewed on me. Funk. Well, personally, that could be your fault, not necessarily the beer's fault. I don't know what I did. I treat all my beers the same. And, and <laughs> Look, you're so elevated in the attic. I mean. I'm above it could be yes. could be the uh, the mean sea level, you know, being so, above that far above sea level, and it's festive in there. So you know, it's, the beer's just ready to pop right it's out of the can. Festive, it's a party, huh? That is going to be a six and a half for the tradition from the Ernbroy Brewery, somewhere in Germany. There you Ernbroy. go. Thank you. Do we have Ernbroy. a name for our translator there? Phone. Tradition. Phone. Phone. All right. Phone. I think Andy calls her Sally. Well, Sally, yes. That's <laughs> very fitting. Um <laughs> so, thank you, Sally, for the for the uh, pronunciation there. Tradition. If this one shows up in your calendar box, let us know what you think. Uh do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, be sure to shoot, shoot that down in the comments or come say hey on our Discord server. We have a hopped up beer review Discord server. The link is down below. It's a chat room and uh, we don't fight most of the time. Yeah. Also, talk, talk two years of brewers calendars. Exactly. Uh, definitely. Definitely. It's been fun to have this uh, for a second year because last year we rated this one a little bit higher. Uh, a, almost a uh, point and a half higher actually so we were having a little discussion here in between as to why that may be and we will continue that discussion on discord uh also if you have made it this far be sure to like subscribe cheers that notification bell uh, and check out all of our 2023 and 2022 brewers advent calendar videos as well as the rest of the videos we do throughout the year that'd be great and we would appreciate that if you have any interest in any hopped up beer review merch, we've got a link for that too. I like the glass there Jay has or the shirt I have or some other stuff out there. Also, go check that out. And that is all the information I have. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.